talk about the seams a little bit. Dawson yeah. Knox just signs a four-year, $31 million deal, 53.6 total, uh, 31 in guarantees. He's a guy. With Cole Beasley out, is he going to have a big breakout year? I know he's a guy already, but what do you expect out of Dawson this upcoming season? And does everybody love that fucking guy? He was on this show. Yeah. Uh-huh. He was awesome. <clears throat> Everybody, everybody loves Dawson Knox. He is truly a Buffalo guy, and even though he's from the Nashville area. And you guys know the tragedy. He lost his younger brother just a couple of weeks ago. And he spoke at length about that to us in the media earlier this week and how much, you know, the outpouring of support from Buffalo, the punt foundation that he's a part of for pediatric cancer research raised over $200,000 of people donating in Luke's name and in Dawson's name. So, you know, that's what we do in Buffalo, right? We take care of our own. That's what makes Buffalo special. But as far as on the field, Dawson's been a rising star. He was a raw, raw player at Ole Miss. Let's remember, he went to Ole Miss as a quarterback. Transferred. They had they transferred to um to tight end. They had DK Metcalf and AJ Brown. They weren't throwing the ball to the tight end guys, right? So he came into the league raw. The Bills saw something in him. He's been rising. He's going to be a very good player. But I would say this: I think this contract is more about the next several years, not just this year. Because Isaiah McKenzie, James Cook, think of all the weapons the Bills have. You're not going to get 100 targets for Dawson Knox, but what you're going to get is a guy that they feel is going to be a really, really big part of this offense for years to come, and he's locked up for another four years after this year. And he's got juice, right? He's great for the culture, I assume, in Buffalo. And Josh Allen loves him. Anytime anytime the quarterback that you just paid, what, 100 some million dollars guaranteed to, loves a guy, let's keep him around. Unless you're the Packers. Ty, your question for Sal Capaccio. He brought it. He said Dawson Knox gets a brand new deal. He's going to go, but this isn't just about this upcoming year for Dawson Knox. They think he's nowhere near his ceiling, nowhere near where he's headed to. He's best friends with Josh Allen. He just signed a four-year, $31 million guarantee deal, 53.6 in totals with uh, uh, other incentives and stuff. Uh, Knox has said, I love people in Buffalo. Mm -hmm. Hopefully I'll be here a long time. Everybody in Buffalo loves this man, AJ. Your thought on Dawson Knox getting this massive deal and what this means for other tight ends? Well, how long has Dawson Knox been playing tight end? Like, how long has he has he been in this position? I don't know. It's not that long, is it? Formerly a quarterback. Yep. Then he goes to. Oh man. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. It's Either way, his ceiling years, is very, probably? very high. The dude's already yes. a stud, but his like the potential he has as well is crazy. So yeah, I think this is a was a no brainer for the Bills, especially on the rocket ship that is the Buffalo Bills with Josh Allen. He's yeah. only getting better and better. I would assume as a New England Patriot fan, not exactly thrilled that Dawson Knox signed on the dotted line to go ahead and ruin your lives for a couple more years, pal. No, no, I'm okay with that. I mean, the real worry is how good the AFC is as a whole. I mean, I think even if you're a Buffalo Bills fan, you have to be worried. Like, man, of course, when our team gets as good as it's been for the past 25 years, seven other teams get as good as they've ever been in the past 25 years. So I mean, yeah. Yeah, you are worried about the Bills, but one game at a time. You know that. You know, I'm looking to Miami on Monday. I'm not looking past that. I'm not looking to anything before that, although I am looking to tomorrow. I'm very excited to play some bets on that game. <laughs> so you're certainly looking before that, but yep. not after that. All no. eyes are on Monday. You're not worried about what the Buffalo Bills are doing just yep. yet, but that is a valid point. It feels like the entire, obviously, AFC, but the NFL has just gotten to a heightened level. Mm-hmm. feels like every team's good.